This is Twit. All right, shall we? Uh, shall we do cover some command line tips? I'm, yeah. What else do we got to do? I'm a, I'm a little scared about Rob's tip. <laughs> a little nervous about this one, man. I'm not Did sure which direction to go. Echo one. Yeah. Rob's got yeah. pee. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I am going to talk about pee this time. I'm continuing on my more util series. I think this is going to be my last one in the more util series before I go on to something. And I am finishing with a good one. P spelled P E E. So P is similar to T as in T E E, which I realized we have not talked about the command T yet. So I'll have to maybe bring that up next. It's once you know, once you learn about P T is going to be very similar. So, uh, T, what T, you know, I'm just going to talk about now. What T does is, is it takes a standard input. So you pipe something to it, the standard input, and it splits it into a standard output and a file. The Linux P command will split your stream into two or more streams, pun intended. <laughs> so what you can do is you can pipe a standard input into P and it will split it and act upon it as many times as you want. So I'm going to do a little example here um, for those watching on my screen. I have the command echo space, quote, Linux is fun, quote, or double quote or whatever. And then I have that piped to P. And then I have, I'm running three commands after P. So it's going to split this into three streams. So it's P space, single quote, cat. Um, redirect into file one.txt single quote space and then i have rev which is reverse i have that redirecting into file two.txt and then i have space single quote wcu so word count and i am redirecting that into file word count.txt so when i run that i mean you don't see anything because i didn't output anything to the stream to the uh to the well, yeah, to the stream, I guess. So now I have these three files. So if I look at them, file one has, it just catted into there. So it's Linux is fun. File two has, it's just reverse. It's Linux is fun backwards. And then if I do cat word count, so it's split then. So, so you can act upon it multiple times. Um, you know, this is just for example here. Uh, but you could do a lot more useful things if you want to uh, run a command, take its output, put it into a log file, and then act upon it at the same time, act upon it somewhere else, and whatever else you do. You know, I'm going to do another one here. Echo, sing, or double quote, ULS is the best, double quote, pipe in that to P, and then I'm just running, so P space cat, space cat, space rev, space cat, space cat, do that, and it's just going to, <laughs> Let's put that all out on the screen. Um, it's such so a standard output. It you could see that it didn't actually do it in the order because the very first thing that popped out on my standard output is the reversed one. Apparently, that's faster than cat. I don't know how that worked like that, but every time I done it, that's uh, that's the one that popped up first. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I could maybe do a whole bunch more and uh. Yeah, that's cool. See what happens, but uh, try putting a rev at the very end and after all these cats. Yeah, so this time I did a whole bunch of cats. You know, cat, cat, rev, cat, 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 rev, and it put did it, in well, same it, order. It, it. It did it in order that I put it out. So eh, I don't know, but it, it it's not something that really order would likely matter unless you're acting on the same file yeah i was and gonna then, say if your order matters then you 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 have a logical bug in what you're doing if your order matters you want to use one of the commands that i gave you a few weeks ago which would be i don't remember but i know there's there's something go, it's in the notes go look <laughs> it's in the notes i know there's something here i just can't quite place what that command is but uh, uh, yeah there you go we're we're talking about p today Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>